Black Eyed Pores Radio, and you're about to witness another great and fundamental, easy, easy to do, easy to learn, and it's a fundamental pour, the open cup pour. I've split the canvas in half with a dark blue and a white, and I just drag the colors across, and it's beautiful. So strap in and enjoy. But on a serious note here, I came downstairs to my studio after my expectation for the finale of this painting was that I was just going to have mostly dark blue, mostly white, and I really, in my mind, I thought that stripe was going to stay. I thought the colors were going to stay down the middle, and then I thought to myself, I was like, okay, I hope this doesn't bleed. I walked away from it, and when I came downstairs and I looked at it, I literally, no word of a lie, I started just, I looked at it, first thing I said was, ah, oh, crap. And then I looked at it, and honestly, I started laughing because I was looking at it, and do yourself a favor, and even if you want, I don't know how long you hang around on these things, but make sure you go to the end, at least, and check out the final result, because it is probably one of the best paintings I've ever made, and it just goes to show that sometimes you luck out, and sometimes it doesn't take anything. Because I walked away from this after I panned it around, came back the next day, and this is how it came out, and I am absolutely blown away satisfied with this painting. And I guess that's what sometimes you just got to learn to let go, because a lot of the times I'm in a panic, I try and do things to keep the pain if I use too much or whatever, but you know what? Walked away, was just said whatever, whatever happens, happens, and I'm super impressed with it. I'm going on and I'm rambling now, so enjoy the video.